Hi, I'm Jennifer with OSHAKits.com. And today I'm going to show you how to use the Purell Sustainable Body Fluid Spill Kit, powered by Purell Surface Sanitizer. This kit is unique in its design as it complies with both OSHA Bloodborne Pathogen and Health Department Food Code regulations. It can be used to clean up any and all types of body fluid spills and even broken glass. A non-leaching absorbent and EPA approved Category 4 disinfectant and 83% of the components are made from biodegradable or recyclable materials. Let's get started. To begin, identify the spill site and close it off from employee and customer foot traffic. Next, empty all kit contents on a flat surface just outside of the spill site. Locate the pack containing the Personal Protective Equipment, or PPE, and place shoe covers over your shoes. Then put on the protective gown using the head and thumb loops. Next, affix the face mask using the ear loops and then the hair cover. Finally, put on the non-latex gloves and pull them up and over the gown sleeves. Place the empty spill kit box next to the spill site. Remove the white backing from the adhesive strip along the front edge of the spill kit box. Attach the adhesive strip to the dry floor near the edge of the spill site. This will now serve as our waste bin. Place one of the black plastic bags near the spill site. Remove the cap and seal from the Purell surface sanitizer and attach the trigger spray. Now it's time to clean. Saturate the spill site and the surrounding area with the Purell surface sanitizer using between one third and one half of the bottle. Wait 30 seconds. Now, sprinkle the absorbent powder over the spill site, starting along the outer edge towards the center of the spill. Discard bottle and wait 30 seconds. Using the scraper tool, push all solid matter over the adhesive strip and into the back of the waste bin. Once most solid matter is in the box, discard the scraper. It's now time to thoroughly respray the affected area with the Purell Surface Sanitizer. Wait 30 seconds. Using Mop 1, push any remaining waste over the adhesive strip and into the box. Discard Mop 1. Close the lid of the box and use the side handles to gently lift and unseal the box from the floor. Immediately dispose of the box in the black trash bag. If any vertical surfaces show signs of spill splatter, spray the Purell surface sanitizer on the enclosed towels and wipe clean. Finally, spray or pour all remaining Purell surface sanitizer on the original spill site. Use Mop 2 to spread the surface sanitizer over the entire area. Discard Mop 2 and the bottle and let site air dry. Tie and place the first black trash bag into the second black trash bag. Discard of all remaining spill kit contents. Now it's time to discard your PPE. First, remove shoe covers and dispose. Next, remove face mask and hair cover. Then, grasp the front of the gown with both hands and pull forward, away from the body until you break the neck loop and back loop. Use the inside sleeves of the gown to remove gloves without contacting the contaminated sides. After placing all protective wear into the trash bag, tie off and prepare to discard. After disposing of bag in an outside dumpster, use the Purell hand sanitizer and then thoroughly wash hands for 20 seconds. Once the spill site is dry, reopen the area to customers and employees. Congratulations, your spill cleanup is now complete. 